after completing my collection of every single mob, I'm going to get every single block. There are almost 800 of them. Some are pretty easy, some are a bit harder, and some like bedrock and end portal blocks should be impossible, <laughs> but I have ways to get them too. To begin with, I'd love another of these, but I won't be going to an ancient city for one. Instead, I'll be doing something different. So I'm gonna roll back the years, and just like old times, I'm gonna search for desert pyramids. Here is the first one. How oh, I have missed doing this, but sadly, no joy. And in the second one, Oh, okay. Well, I found one. You know, we found one that quick. Then I'm gonna keep searching. And I'll even check nether portals on my way. And abandoned mine shafts. Will I have more joy in the third one? I won't, but, but that does kind of make sense. And in the fourth, it was empty as well. Same with the fifth. And in the sixth, we've got another. I've got to keep going. I I'm going for three. Just gonna mine some skull catalysts to mend my elytra. And then I can get busy with my searching. And finally, I've got the third one! That took absolutely ages. I should've just quit when I got the second Notch Apple. I have made it back. I'll grab three item frames and add them in. My collection is growing. And speaking of collections, I have released the U2s. It's limited edition and won't be available much longer. The link is at the top of the description. Now next, I wanna do something that I, I probably should've done quite some time ago, but I didn't wanna do it too soon. I wanted to wait for the right time. I'd like to build a tribute to Technoblade. I'm gonna build it up there. He was a great YouTuber and a really, really genuine kind person. And he definitely deserves to have a permanent tribute in my world. I shall build it on top of this little hill using pink concrete, followed by lots of decorations so it looks like Techno. That's his face and... That's his full head. I'll also grab string to protect him from the snow. RIP to an absolute legend. And on that note, I will offload all my stuff and repair my elytra. And if I am going to get a collection of every single block, then that means I have to find the absolute perfect location. Doing so will allow me to have blocks that in survival are normally unobtainable, such as bedrock, end portal frames, budding amethyst, etc, etc. I've got 793 to collect. Basically, if it's placeable, it's going in the collection. To begin with, I'm collecting all the acacia items, since they're the first ones alphabetically, and pretty much all that requires me to do is mine a load of wood. And whilst I'm here, I might as well get oak and birch as well. Then I just need to do loads of crafting and add them to the shulker box. Can't forget about the acacia leaf as well. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is every single acacia item. Now I have to do the same with birch and oak. And with all of these, I've got 42 items. And whilst I'm at it, I might as well get the other three types of wood. What the heck have I just found in my world? It's literally a village on floating islands. I didn't even know anything was like, like this was ever possible. It looks amazing. Anyway, I still need to get spruce, dark oak, and jungle. And with all of these, I've got 84 items. And since I've been getting all the wooden ones, I might as well search for a mangrove swamp. One has been spotted just as my elytra broke as well. Thankfully, I always carry a spare. Now I'll grab the mangrove wood, craft the items, which gives me 98 of the items in total. Plus, whilst I'm here, I'll grab mud, rooted dirt, a carpet. I just realized they're muddy mangrove roots. Rooted dirt is something completely different. And with 101 items, I'll grab bamboo for 102 and cocoa beans. Now I'm grabbing obsidian to build a portal. And I might as well get the final two sets of wooden items. That's all the crimson stuff. And this is the place I've been looking for to get the rest of the items. And I have now got all of the warped ones. That's 138 items. And I should also grab the twisting vine while I'm here. And now that I am home, all of these can safely go into a chest. And one of the rarer blocks on this list is gonna be netherite. I have got a lot of ancient debris saved up. I, I think that's it actually. Plus whatever's in this shulker box. That lets me have five ingots. But not only will I need one block for the collection, I also need two blocks to fix this portal that I, I had to borrow. So I'll grab some TNT. Ask you guys to please subscribe because I'm trying to hit 4 million before the end of the year and I am fast running out of time. Next I'll fly a little bit away, dig down, create a tunnel, come across some random t- what, what, what is this from? It's like a tunnel that I blew up but never got to the end of it. It has ancient debris. I'm very, very confused. There was three of them here as well. I'm guessing I must have thought this- look there's loads of it. I must have thought this tunnel ended when it actually didn't. Very, very confusing. But hey, I'm not going to complain. This is perfect. 11 pieces in this tunnel. So I make that 12 with even more to come starting with this one So it seems like I've reached the end of the TNT But it connects to another tunnel Which I've been to before. I don't know. It's quite confusing But I'm just gonna dig a new one place a load of TNT and blow it up This will reveal all the ancient debris that I need so it's time to get busy mining 
but I'm just gonna keep going. And that's mission complete. Two stacks and 11, which will get me all the netherites I will ever need. Next, I require more gold to put everything together and get four more blocks. Two more go there and one for my block collection. I have quite a few broken tools and items, such as these elytra and also this pickaxe. So I'll get them repaired. And now I will grab this and go searching for more precious blocks like coal ore, a coal block, copper ore, a block of raw copper, as well as a normal copper block and all of the copper variants. The only thing relating to that that I still need is deep slate copper ore, which I'm only gonna find a lot lower down. Uh -huh. I've already found it, perfect. So I can grab that and I've found a cave. Allow me to get the other ore variants. And raw gold is actually gonna be needed to be honest. While I'm here, grabbing the dripstone ones and glow lichen, which requires shears will be useful. There's a dungeon down here. Although I I, I don't know what, what could possibly be useful. And, and I, I, well, I, I, as much as a mob spawner will be in my collection, getting that one into it will not be part of the plan. The banana is even a deep dark down here. I doubt that'll be useful for now though. Also got me deep slate diamond ore and I'll collect the raw iron. Might as well harvest these as well to get a diamond block. And here's the non-deep slate ores as well. That is gonna be enough diamonds. So I'll start crafting everything together. The collection is nearly complete. I've completely lost count, but I do realize now that there was four duplicates in my massive spreadsheet of notes. There's actually 789 different blocks to collect, not 793. And there is my normal diamond ore. Deep slate coal is very, very rare, but I have some at home in a chest. So I reckon I'll be best using that. Next, I'm searching for emerald ore, which can be found in mountainous biomes. That's the regular ore found, and I might discover the deep slate version if I'm very, very lucky. Couldn't spot anything down there, but if I fly back home, I can grab those two rare blocks from here. And that's all the ore stuff done. That's now 175 out of 789. So if I can grab another 25, I'll be up to 200. And I reckon the end is a good place to get more. Oh yeah, I am. <laughs> I forgot about all of those guys. Anyway, I don't think about them. I'll focus on getting the items. That's all the end items. I'm going to nip to this Enderman farm to repair my elytra because if they break and I fall in the void, uh, that's that's the end of that series. <laughs> With that out the way, I've realized that I accidentally built a nether mob switch using all the dragons. So around here, no Enderman will actually spawn. We'll also need a couple of these. How I'm going to get the actual stem in the collection will be a bit more tricky because you can't actually just mine them up, as you can see. But don't worry, I've got a plan. End city located, which will allow me to get all the different purple per items and also end rods and that leaves me with only one final item from the end the dragon head which I, I hope does not fall in the void it didn't that's me up to 187 and an end gateway spotted see you later wild ender dragons and now i'll pop to the nether to grab you you and a bunch of you from there i'll get the quartz variants and that gives me every quartz variant i've got 199 and i'm also going to add a beacon into the mix to make the total 200 then it's time for all the ocean things starting with looking for a monument one has been spotted there's no Elder Guardians to worry about because I got rid of them in the past, which is nice. So I can quickly get everything that I need. That is all that I need, but I forgot to bring a stone cutter, which is why I'm back. Now I can get back out there to collect seagrass and kelp. Then I'm off to a coral reef to collect all the different types. I also require a sea pickle. The reason I've got two of each is because half of them will have to be the dead variant of it. The only remaining block that I think I still need to get, a dried kelp block. On my way back, I'll grab some snow, a snow block, ice, blue ice and packed ice, and powdered snow, if I can find it. And I know it's here somewhere. Here it is. You can tell by the slightly different texture. And with these six items, I'm up to 251. I'm also quite far away from a house, so I reckon nipping through the nether might be a smart idea. Also because I need a twisting vine. For got to get it last time I was here. And since I'm here, I might as well grab all the remaining nether-like items. That includes you and you. I can see bone blocks in that category. Definitely not forgetting basalt, polished basalt, and smooth basalt. I've also discovered a bastion, which lets me get gilded blackstone, normal blackstone, and all the different variants. Can even get the chains and lanterns. Even more stuff to be added at a nether fortress, and some nether wards will be included in that. Almost forgot about the block of magma, and also glowstone. I'll grab red mushroom and brown mushroom, which I've, I've clearly got back to front. You'd think I'm colorblind, wouldn't you? But I'm, I'm definitely not. And whilst I'm thinking about those, I'll get a big mushroom, a flat mushroom, and some stem, which reminds me to get mycelium, which reminds me to get podzol, and that reminds me to get grass, dirt, sand, clay, gravel, coarse dirt, stone, cobblestone, and this has nothing to do with what I've just got, but I need pumpkins, and of course sugarcane, plus a bee's nest, plus vines, and it, you know what, any system I might have had has completely gone out the window. So I'll just grab a load of different blocks. And 
and that should be enough for now. I did have petrified oak slab on my list, but it's basically just normal oak slab if you crafted it before version 1.3. And since that's impossible for me to get, it is now off the list, and I have no idea how many items I've just got. So I'm going to count up and work everything out. I've counted them all up and organized them properly, which, which took quite a bit of time. But it means that I am now up to 394 items, so I am past halfway, since it's out of 788 in total. I've got ender pearls. I also need blaze powder because this collection is going to need to be built in a very very specific place i don't currently know where that specific place is but i'm going to go and find it and i'm going to go in this direction to look for it i need the eye to point to a brand new stronghold though that's the old one so i'll keep flying further and further away and this was enough because it's now pointing in this direction and searching for these is so much easier and faster when you do have elytra somewhere on this mushroom island is where the first one is Somewhere right about here. I'm in. I found the portal room. But in my opinion, this stronghold isn't really low down enough. Plus, it would ideally be near an ancient city. And, and, and there's not going to be one in this area because it's, it's just too flat. So I'll carry on my search for the perfect location. Next one is roughly about here. And this one's quite low down, which already makes it a good candidate. And there's an amethyst geode in the stronghold. Okay, that, now it's suddenly really, really good. Very near to the portal room. The portal room's here. And then the geode is there. That's great. Definitely saving the coordinates of this one. The only way it could get better than this is if I find one in an area where ancient cities can spawn. That basically means I have to find a stronghold that's underneath a mountain. Now this one is kind of near a mountainous area, so you, you just never know. I'll dig down and find out. Found the stronghold, and I'll dig down from the portal room to see if there's an ancient city nearby. Gone to bedrock, nothing there. I, I think the other stronghold that I got before is better than this one, so I shall keep searching. And this one is in another place where it's highly unlikely there'll be an ancient city, so I shall search elsewhere and yet another one that is, is not in a great area this is gonna be tougher than i thought so i'm gonna put my best foot forward and get searching this is the first time i found a stronghold that's on the side of a mountain so i'm gonna dig down and hope that there's an ancient city down below operation find stronghold achieved it's not as low down as i would like and here is the portal room but is there actually a deep dark nearby well it would seem that the answer to that is no <laughs> no, there isn't. So I shall get out of here and continue my never-ending search for the perfect stronghold. A few more strongholds later, and, and this area is kind of mountainous, although it's going away from it. I'm not too optimistic, but I'll give it a try anyway. Well, either I've missed it or it's very deep down, which is uh, the first... Okay, no, I haven't missed it. Now to look for the portal room, and that is right here, which just leaves you to wonder if there's actually a deep dark down here. Well, I, I, it doesn't look very promising, but I might as well go down to the bottom just to check... Uh, Hang on a minute. There is deep dark in the area, which means there's a chance, a very small chance that there's an ancient city near. I'm just going to strip mine and hope for the best. Also, thanks to Swift Sneak, dive mining is now very, very viable. Even finds your diamonds, would you believe it? And I've come to an ancient city. Hang on a minute. Is this close enough? Is this going to work? Am I going to summon the warden? Let's just be careful. I'm here to explore, not to get myself into trouble. There's the reinforced deep slate. And I need to work out how many blocks away it is from the portal room. There's even an amethyst geode en route. This this actually could be the perfect place because I've got a budding amethyst which is unobtainable as well. But how far away is it exactly is the biggest question. So I'm in the stronghold part and here's my portal room. They're about 180 to 200 blocks apart which all things considered is not that bad. I think maybe, just maybe I can make this work and make it look natural. Okay, I have come out and I have come out in line with it which is a pretty good indication that I can count which is, is always good to know. And just how feasible this is, it, I, I I don't really know because I'm also going to need to have bedrock, which of course is going to be all the way down at like minus 60. I'm just starting to realize how much effort digging all of this out is going to take. Right now I'm just doing this to work things out, so I, I don't know what it's going to be like when I have to dig everything. I've dug out the start of the tunnel because it's deep slate, it absolutely takes forever. The area to be dug out is going to be pretty massive, so I may find a beacon to be pretty useful. Because it's all deep slate, I sadly won't be able to insta mine anything, but it'll still speed up my mining <laughs> quite considerably. And it makes any painfulness to actually set up the beacon to be worth it. Finally made it up to the top, so I've just got to dig straight back down. I guess it makes sense that it take forever because ancient cities are always under mountainous regions. There we go, beam away. Haste two obtained, which means I will now be quite a bit faster with me digging. Oh, it's beautiful when I get to the tough. Look at this so fast. Kind of ironic, isn't it? That in order to get every single block that I possibly can, I have to mine up like a million blocks. 
And that's a full border mined out all the way around the edge. Gonna be very helpful to build a second beacon somewhere around here since the haste can't quite reach this far. Pretty sure I placed every single block. It's kind of in such an enclosed space that it's hard to tell. And now for the annoying part of digging all the way up. There we go. Now to dig back down. The beacon is working. I can put that in there. Give myself haste too. Try and find the tunnel that I dug. There it is. And then if I just kind of dig down... Do something like that. I'll have haste absolutely everywhere that I need it. And there's not much left for me to do now other than just mine my life away. This is going to be a big hole. I've spent roughly the last five hours <laughs> mining all this out. It's taken absolutely forever. And whilst, yes, it, it is a massive area, it's still not even low enough to be able to get the deep slate in or the amethyst geo down here. So I think it's time I slightly changed my strategy. I'll firstly make a portal right about here. Apparently, I've spawned a warden in without realising at some point. No idea where he's at. But from here, I'll go through. And apparently, there's another one over there. I, I, I have no idea how I've managed to make two so close. Probably a safe option just to break this one. And I'll also be getting rid of this too. Next, I need to fly as high up as I can go. Maybe doing something like that. Look at that. Perfect. I can grab a ladder and pearls from here to get up above the bedrock. Apparently, my ice pathway goes past here as well. That's very convenient. The ideal spot for the portal is right here. I'll double check it links up. It does to perfection. And if I happen to have a bow in me and the chest which I do, I can get back home extremely quickly and begin Operation Obtain TNT and also Operation Offload All The Junk. Now I have got a little bit in this shulker box, but it's probably not enough for the entire mission and that's all the sand I have. So I think my best move is to go on a sand collection expedition. I'll also grab a load of gunpowder on the way, which is actually every bit of gunpowder that I own. And then I need to attempt to locate a desert. Let's see whereabouts this brings me. Couldn't be further away from the desert to be honest, could it? The frozen ocean and some very, very snowy biome. Come to more land, but it's uh, it's not very deserty, although there is there's a bit of sand to go at. Actually, hold on, acacia biome as well. Maybe maybe that's not a beach like I thought. Maybe we're in a deserty area. I can only hope that such a thing is the case. And of course, you see a ruin portal, you check it, you realize it's not got what you want, really. <laughs> not chapels or nothing. In better news, a desert has been found. And with no time to lose, I'm going to put down my stuff, craft some chests to store all the shulker boxes, and start placing all of these down. I won't go any... F oh, okay. Well, I was a little bit caught out there. I did not know this was down here. Just um, <laughs> getting blown up there. All I was trying to say is I'm not going to go into the red sand desert because it's just going to get annoying. But who knew that there was an entire secret mine shaft under there? So my priority now is just to get as much of this sand as I can. I'm also starting to think that two shulker boxes might not be enough because I've, <laughs> I've already filled one. But who knows? I might just about be okay. Turns out that one shulker box would have been sufficient. But anyway, let's just make this TNT. That's all of this sand used. And so I'll repeat the whole thing again. Another batch is done and ready to be crafted. Job done with that as well. Haven't got too much gunpowder left, but I'll just keep going. Operation Destroy Desert is complete. Nice to get a load of spare sand as well. And a decent amount of TNT. Armed with all that, I will make a portal to head back home. And now Operation Complete My Collection can begin. You'd think that I may not have enough time... Because, uh, you know, I've only got just over half of the items. But thankfully the rest are all going to be pretty easy to obtain. And it's also quite important for me to think about the room's aesthetics. A large amount of the build will be made from quartz. And the best way to get that is going to be through void trading. You're the villager that I choose. I've got plenty of emeralds here. And so I shall get to work. That's all me emeralds used up. And I think I've probably got enough stuff there. If I need more quartz than that, then uh, <laughs> the build is just way too big. And once I've got more black concrete and successfully converted it, and it is now all done. And that's that done. These can all be collected. Chuck them in the shulker box. And thank all the people that have subscribed. I'm getting closer to 4 mil. I think it's wise for me to head over to the warden farm before continuing the project. And the reason for that is so that I can then disable any more wardens from spawning. That should be working perfectly fine, which means I'll be able to explore this deep dark completely safely and get rid of all the shriekers too. Now as tempting as it is, rather than just blowing everything up and making a massive room, I think my best bet is probably to do a slight change in tack. This budding amethyst right here is going to be part of my collection. I'm just going to cover it in obsidian so it's safe from any TNT that I do use. Really not worth the risk of me accidentally blowing it up. So this calcite is going to be the blocks that all of the uh, the blocks in the collection will be sat on. I'll use my fortune pickaxe because cobble deep slate is actually going to be useful for the project. And the hoe is going to be useful for getting rid of all this skulk. Now in front of where the blocks are going to sit, there's going to be stairs like this. So I'm just, I'm just kind of marking out how things are going to look. Then I'll have a pathway that's going to be completely quartz slabs. This is where the first of the TNT can come out. Because I've got to get through this and I, I, I don't really fancy mining it all. 
all out. And I, I didn't realise I could send it off with a skulk sensor. Okay, well, uh, that's, that's going to be interesting. A big blast. And that really will make getting through much, much easier. Just working out exactly how things will align. And I think this is where I want the row of blocks to be at this height. You used to be able to eventually mine up Deep Slate with a pickaxe, but I'm, I'm guessing is it now just like bedrock and you can't mine it? And it oh no, you can mine. Look at that. I'm breaking it. It's just going to take me some time. I'm actually going to break it yet until I know exactly where I want to be. Because imagine if I break the piece and then I, I needed it to be there or something. <laughs> I mean, I spent ages doing it. I need to be close to that beacon so I can have the haste as well. Just marking out the area, working things out. And I believe the staircase is going to be about here. With slabs going along like this. And remarkably so, it all seems to connect up perfectly. Never mind, I was one block out. I, I, I knew it was too good to be true. Thankfully, it's not a particularly big job to fix it. Hey, what though? This is going to be some collection when it's finished. I can't wait for that moment. Marked out another 50 block long pathway here. It does seem that a, a bit of this roof is in my way. Nothing a little bit of mindless mining won't fix though. And now that's done. It's really starting to take shape. It's going to be all sorts of different sections split up into lots of 50 blocks. So far this bottom bit is about 35 blocks long so I'm going to have to extend it this way a bit. And once I'm far away enough from the geode I'll be using TNT to blast this up. Yeah that's, that's certainly a lot faster than mining it. I can also get way more quartz slabs down. From here I'm going to staircase down even further which is going to be best done with a bit more TNT TNT until I reach bedrock. Then I'll line up another tunnel with TNT, light it up, protect me stairs, which <laughs> I didn't really need protecting, did they? And this is how I'm going to end up with bedrock in my collection. I think it's safe for me to remove a little bit of the obsidian as well, but I'll leave the very final bits till the end. Now for bedrock to be in my collection, I need a good piece on this row. Now this Looks like a pretty good candidate. These two are also in a great position. But of course, to make this work, to make it look authentic in the area, I've, I've got to basically remove all of this bedrock along here. That won't be a massive issue because I've done it many times before. But it does mean that I'll need to head back to collect a load more items. These six things are all I'm going to need. And then you guys know the drill. I've just got to break all of these bits of bedrock except for the ones that I'm going to need. So yeah, these in the floor have to go. These stairs are going to get ruined, so I better just mine them up. It's nothing I haven't ever done before, but it's, it's, it's just going to be annoying. It's just going to take a bit of time. So I think I want that, I like that. And then you want a piston like so. The cobble, is just, it's all not in the inventory. It's kind of annoying, but then you just have a bit of TNT there, a bit of cobblestone on top, followed by a trap door. And then if I go, put a lever, when I flick that lever, I, uh, I'm going to need a piston. And then the bedrock underneath should be broke. There's quite a bit to get rid of, so I'm going to put my best foot forward and get busy. And finally, I, I think I've blown up enough. So I'll put that to the test by adding stairs, which come down this far, and then slabs are going to be along like this. Already ran out. Not too far to go to get to the end, but I'm going to have to go and craft some more. The easiest way to do that is just stick it in the uh, stone cutter. There you go. Perfect. That gets me all the way to here. Starting to think it might be wise to remove that bedrock and these couple of bits of bedrock behind, because I'd ideally like there to be a portal kind of right where this is all in the way of. Mission accomplished. The portal's going to be somewhere here. I can add quartz behind to make it look a bit better. Although I'm not out of the woods just yet now that I think about it. This bedrock is going to have to go and so are these three. Mission accomplished. I can put all of these back, make a load of these polished deep slate stairs and they're going to be going all the way along here on just on this side where the block's going to be. This side is just going to kind of be uh, slabs and then a wall I think. Or maybe I put blocks on both sides. Oh this could be an idea you know. That could be one of my smartest ideas yet. Yeah on both sides there's going to be blocks. I've just got to go ahead and do the maths and make sure that it's not going to be too long if I put blocks on both sides and that there'll be enough blocks for me to reach where the end portal is going to be. Because yeah, this has to go as far as this because we need the mob spawner as well. Yeah, we need the end portal. We're going to have end portal. For, well, I've got the frame. We're going to have end portal block. I've worked out in my head and I think it'll be okay. There's, there's absolutely no guarantee, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. It will also look much, much better to have blocks on both sides. I, I don't know why I didn't think of this soon. I don't know why putting them on only on one side was even an option in my head. And it means that the extra amount of digging that I'm going to have to do is, is pretty minimal. Just when I get going, I realise there's, there's, there's other bits of obsidian that yeah need removing. I'll get them all this time, I promise. That's this side properly done. See, I need to be able to place quartz. Are you kidding me? That's in the way. And that one. I guess I broke my promise. I 
I really am just a massive liar. I'll literally redesign the entire room to fit around it if uh, <laughs> if this isn't enough. I am not breaking any more bedrock at this side. And it really does look like mission accomplished this time. But unfortunately on this side that there is still work to be done. I knew the bedrock bit would be annoying, but didn't realise it would be this tricky. And I think that's that's all the ones I need to break. <laughs> Where we're going to find out. And the answer is yes. Yes, it was all that I needed. Thank goodness. Now this is going to go all the way down to the bottom. And the same for this one. I can put my stairs back in. Then I stack these all the way up like so. It's only the fact that I had to mine out so much deep slate is, is kind of coming in handy. I can then do the same thing at this level. You can't really tell the deep slates there because of because uh, <laughs> it's surrounded by other deep slates. But once quartz gets added, you'll be able to see it a bit better. Speaking of quartz, it's also going to be above this deep slate on both sides. And it'll also staircase above it here. And because I didn't expect to be doing this on both sides, there's, uh, there's, there's quite a bit of mine to be done over here. Thankfully, once it opens up here, it, it just gets much, much easier. It's really starting to come together and it'll just be repeating over here what I did down there so that I, I don't have to think, which is nice. Because sometimes I, I just hate having to think. Now up above this, we're going to have some nice deep slate stairs. It, it's really dark down. I can't wait to add some light. I can't wait to add the blocks to fill in these gaps. So much needs to be done and placing these fast is uh, a, a bit of a challenge as well. So we get here, I want to turn a bit of a... I'm stuck down there, but... yeah. <laughs> Turn a bit of a corner like that. Better also bring the quartz up on this side. And then just above that, there's going to need to be polished deep slate on every block, which will have a staircase on it. I'll add the stairs on this side. I can also complete the portal. And if my plan is right, it should probably link up okay. I'm, I'm not going to test it right now because I've got one other thing I want to add. And that is a quartz slab roof. Although if I keep doing it from down here, it'll take me all day. I think flying my way up is probably a smarter idea. There we go. It, it definitely needs lights along the roof. And I think the portal's actually going to look a little bit better if we can see the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, I definitely prefer that. And this should be polished deep slate as well. There we go. This level's also pretty much done. I'll add the actual roof in later because I've not got too much time to uh, to get all the blocks in. And I think I'd definitely like to prioritize that. Okay, bad news. There is a trigger of that because I've relogged my world at some point. I didn't, uh, yeah, the, the wardens can spawn again, basically. But thankfully, my warden level's gone down quite a bit. But I will just have to be aware of that. And I do still also have the very monotonous task of... Having to break the reinforced deeps like that I don't need. That'll be fun. I think I'm building the staircase in the perfect place for this to work. Yep, I've just double checked it and it's, I'm 100% sure it's perfect. It's a brave thing for me to say considering how many mistakes I made, I know. But I'm very confident that it'll be right. Also, even though I mined out this massive area, it actually needs to be wider this way. I'm probably not going to use all of that, which is a shame. But it's a good job I changed course because I'd still be mining right now if I carried on trying to do all that digging. But yeah, I've changed the portal block that I want to be in my collection. Instead, it's going to be one of these frames and then I'll have a portal block there, then a couple of random blocks, like three random, four random blocks, then the spawner. I know how it's going to go in my head. I've, uh, I've just got to dig the area out. I could TNT it, but I kind of want my efforts to be a little bit more controlled than that. Made a few modifications. I realized I should just make the pathway slightly higher so it's in, in line with that. And I moved it slightly across as well. Well, we've got rain as well. Basically, to put it simple, I put it in a much better space, which means I have to do a lot less digging. But the more concerning news is I have completely run out of quartz. It's not necessarily the end of the world. It just means I've got to spend time going and getting more. And I still have so many blocks that I need to craft and collect. Oh, get out of my way. I'm in a rush. I really need to spawn proof this runway to stop things like that happening. Just literally just cost me a totem. Riding a boat down a nice pathway should not be that dangerous. And as you know, this part isn't difficult. It just takes quite a bit of time. And that is all the emeralds traded. I can send you back, little fella. Now, I want to start adding the blocks. So I'm going to try and grab every single shulker box here, which I have space for. Technically, don't have any space for anything else, but I'll, I'll soon sort that with like this. Because I also want room to bring a load of sea lanterns and also iron trap doors, although that is, that is not a lot of iron. It'd make more sense for me to grab loads of iron ingots craft many more. That will definitely be enough for what I want to do. Now to head all the way back, hopefully not run into any hoglins this time, which was thankfully the case. And I'm just going to craft and place a few more quartz slabs just to kind of finish a good amount of the pathway. I don't think I'll get the entire thing finished right now because I really want to start adding all the blocks just to make it, you know, look like a, a block collection. At the moment, it's just a long pathway with, with nothing in it. I, you know, I really want to bring it to life a bit. You'll also see why I brought the sea lanterns because in the roof I do want to do something like that and then trap doors in front. I think that's good. We'll do one like every five or something just just to brighten the area up. Then I'm going to start dipping into these and adding them 
along here. So I, I reckon a beacon in this first one will be good. But the problem with that is you can see through a beacon. So something like that will, will make it look better. And then I'm going to grab all of these and start adding them along here. It's actually starting to come together. It, look at how cool it looks. It genuinely looks like I have got bedrock without doing some fancy trickery. You also want loads of copper stuff down here. But if I'm not careful, it will all become weathered. And to avoid that, I am going to grab a load of honeycomb. I'm hoping that this farm has some left because my bee farm hasn't worked properly in ages. I don't know if this way, but yeah, we've got 64 there, which is absolutely perfect. It's a very long way to come, isn't it? <laughs> Just for some honeycomb, but I tell you, it'll definitely be worth it. I do want to have some weathered copper that's, that's gone that turquoise green, but for this bit, I, I don't want the copper to be like that. I want it to be its original colour, like it, so it looks like it's always going to be brand new. Definitely saving a lot of firework rockets by using the boat, and it's faster, which is nice. I'll place that and give it a wax. Then I want to grab all of these along the bottom and add them in at the end. These remaining bits of copper for the ones that are going to go weathered. And in fact, if I just wax these now, I could have the weathered ones to be right next to the non-weathered ones. It's absolutely ingenious. So just on the end here, I'm going to have you. You're going to go... Do we have any quartz? Yeah, we do. We have that. Then the final one, I'll have a, I'll have a bit of dripstone because why not? And I'm just going to keep busy filling up loads and loads more blocks. And this row on the other side is almost completely done. Just got to place a few blocks behind those slabs and place down... A couple of lanterns. Obviously, the collection is going to get way bigger, but I have, unfortunately, run out of time. I don't want to go over time. The bedrock looks very cool, though. It definitely looks like I've got bedrock with, by some trickery. I, I really like it. <laughs> Can't wait to finish this entire thing, but that, ladies and gentlemen, was 4,700 days in hardcore Minecraft.